Hi, I'm Didier. Welcome to the lab over at La Maison du Whisky. Uh, today I'm with Maxime. Hey guys. A beverage consultant for the ECC and the Golden Promise, for example. And we're going to talk about the Flip, a nice winter drink. So Maxime, why are we talking about the Flip today? Well, it's pretty much the perfect cocktail for the season. Mm -hmm. uh, it's something pretty comforting um, and, and it's definitely around warm notes. So I think it definitely sticks with the colder season. Yeah, so I mean like typically uh, in the US or Anglo-Saxon countries, Christmas or winter is associated to uh, eggnog. Well, exactly. And, uh, it's you know, the egg base. The eggs, there. that's it. It's yeah. pretty much like the, the stepbrother from, from the flip for the eggnog. Uh, the eggnog having cream, flip not really. The first lines we could find of a uh, cocktail with egg was actually the flip. Okay. And it was actually served uh, hot. Okay, so how would they, they heat it in like a... Uh, so two options. And mainly in England, you could find it uh, on the stove. They would warm it up on a stove. Uh, otherwise, in the States, it would be with a very warm cast iron that they would chuck in the cocktail to warm it up. Okay, cool. So it's a winter drink. That makes sense. It was served warm. Now, not so much. Um, now it's more of an iced drink. Exactly. So with the coming flavors, like we, we drink maybe less warm cocktails at the moment. Mm -hmm. And also it's maybe a bit harder to do either at home because you don't always have a very hot right. cast iron. <laughs> uh, and also um, uh, either the stove or in a bar, it's pretty much harder. Mm -hmm. As we don't add hot water to it, I would be like, for example, the Blue Blazer, which would be one of the most famous okay. hot cocktails. There it's really a warm cocktail that you have to heat on a stove. Okay, so basically a flip is an egg cocktail without cream to differentiate exactly. from eggnog. Um, where does the name come from, the flip? Okay, so traditionally the flip, uh, to mix all the ingredients, mm -hmm. as it was also warm, they would princip uh, principally pass it from one pot to another and just roll it. So pretty, pretty much just throwing it from one side to the other okay. in uh, different tins, just to sort of like mix the ingredients together and maybe prop it a little bit. Flipping it back and forth. Flipping it back and forth, okay. that's from. And um, so what's the, rich, what's the recipe? Uh, so traditionally it was a recipe which wouldn't really stick to like common palate, common flavors. Mm -hmm. uh, it was one part of sugar, one part of spirits. So it could be brandy, mainly used over there. At that time it could be rum. Mm -hmm. uh, they also started doing quite a lot with, uh, with uh, wine based products, so like port. And also the last part would be obviously the egg. Okay, and the egg, you put the whole egg or I mean I've seen recipes where you have just the yolk. Uh, some with the whole egg. Exactly, so um, as you know the kind of family, the sour cocktails mm -hmm. would always have egg white. Uh, egg white would really like lighten the drink with the froth. That makes the foam, yeah. Exactly, whereas the egg yolk will really bring density mm -hmm. uh, and roundness to a drink. So there what we're really looking for uh, would be to have that sort of like lightness of the egg mm -hmm. white and also the, the very, very rich and, mm -hmm. and dense uh, aspect of the egg yolk. Yeah, I mean it kind of tastes creamy when you it's have a flip. It's definitely creamy. That's what we're really looking for in that drink. Mm -hmm. It's really like the comforting idea of something dense. Yeah, nice. So for the modern take on the, the flip, uh, what would you kind of twist? You brought us a nice kind of modern recipe yeah, for the definitely. For well, contemporary so palette. Exactly, we need to make it contemporary because the obviously the palette quite changed since uh, the first recipe of either eggnogs or mainly in that situation the flips. Mm -hmm. um, at the time the first recipe is like pretty much on the sweet side yeah. and most of the drinks that we're trying to make now and the like common palate would be for things which are maybe less sweeter mm -hmm. but at the same time when you think of the composition of the drink you can't really put lemon into it otherwise it'll cook yeah. the egg it'll be something pretty strange and it's not really what we're looking for mm -hmm. so how could we make something maybe a little less sweet but at the same time keeping like the the aromatic the whole profile of the drink and also that sort of like very warm that texture. Creamy texture. Exactly, yeah. that's what we're looking for. So uh, one thing that we kind of tend to do now, uh, just to sort of like like up the cocktail, mm -hmm. would be to add some orange to it. Yeah. And the acidity being different, it won't really cook mm -hmm. the, the ingredients, but it will just light up the cocktail a little bit. Okay, so, so that's fresh orange juice. Fresh orange juice, and also one thing that we tend to add to is maybe wine-based products. Okay. So one of the most famous recipes, like I'd say uh, in the 90s, would be a port flip. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've heard of the port flip. Yeah, uh, exactly. That's one of the main uh, like flips that we do, uh, and this works well because you have a wine-based product, mm -hmm. and the wine-based product will firstly link products together, like all the different ingredients, and also if ever you don't take something too sweet, mm -hmm. could actually rebalance the cocktail. So okay. in that example, we're going to keep the spirits, but not use 
like a third of the drink for the spirits. But we're going to add some wine-based products, keep the spirit but in a shorter and lower measure. Mm -hmm. uh, and then maybe we could play around like another sweetener. So for example, extend, instead of just sugar, mm -hmm. we might play around with like maple syrup as we're going to nice. do today. That's nice and that. It's pretty wintry. Yeah. It's pretty wintry. <laughs> and then otherwise you could always put molasses, you could put honey, mm -hmm. pretty much everything you feel like, agave syrup. And uh, then play around with bitters to add extra intensity, yeah. layers of flavor, and obviously always the garnish, which you can have fun with. So, so what's the spirit base we're going to use today? So today, actually, as we're going something pretty wintry and uh, showing the sort of like whiteness of the drink and how we could have fun with it. In some of the first recipes, mm -hmm. you had rum. So we actually picked rum, uh, which is also mainly considered as pretty much like a summery kind of spirit. Yeah. They're reintegrating it in maybe a wintry drink, but always a bit of a summer insights yeah. so for example there we have plantation pineapple to okay. do it today so we'll add like a maybe a tropical note but at the same time those warm wintry flavors all right nice and then so we got plantation pineapple exactly maple syrup the wine base is uh, vermouth exactly we're using vermouth today uh and then the egg the whole egg and then the whole egg uh of the bitters the and okay. the bitters you could definitely have fun with whatever you want if you want so like some cinnamon coming in some mm -hmm. chocolatey notes you can just open the wide range and for example today we're going like we're giving a an idea of a recipe but really do feel free mm -hmm. to change any ingredients uh re seeing maybe your balance regarding the sweetness yeah. but you can really interpose anything just to make it up to your flavor mm -hmm. Okay, and the orange juice. And the orange juice, very important. important. The orange juice. And the flip, so it appeared in the first cocktail book, the very first cocktail book. Um, actually, if you know who wrote it, feel free to write it down in the comments. It's a famous bartender. And so, thank you, Maxime. Thank you, Didier. Bye, guys. Uh, if you like what you see, give us a thumbs up, follow the YouTube channel, and see you next time.